So, welcome back everybody to Let's Play No Moria Lake Invictus Part 6, I think we are into right now. Um, so, we are just hitting summer. <coughs> we have just had daylight. We are um, uh, most likely in vain hoping for no new nomads. Um, done some minor stuff before I started recording and that is I put in a couple of more stairs to connect these two stone layers and hopefully they will be done pretty soon and actually they are on their way let's see if these connects up as well Oh, glory, 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 three new, three new nomads, that is a 33% increase in gnome power. Um, and of course we want to let these guys in as fast as possible, uh, I don't think we have anything really evil lurking about at the moment at least not in that part of the map so let's go down and do like this I want someone to get in out there and open up our wall as ah, to open up uh, a spot in the wall so I'm going to cancel everything but I'm going to leave this one as a marker and hmm we do have some malachite as well, um, so we are starting to get some some ores to produce. And um, the exciting thing is, what are these guys skilled at, and how can we put them to best use? Um, but of course, we want to get these guys inside as fast as possible. So we're going to open up our wall. If someone please could come and do that. And that doesn't look like a dead certainty. Yes, these got connected up. Good. Good, good, good. Uh... Yes, someone is coming to do that. And they are kind of walking around desperately waiting to join our <coughs> prosperous society. And the one is two. Maybe the third one has already actually. No. No, that's a bear. Um, I don't want you inside. Uh, skills, curiosity. I'm not sure what curiosity is, but I presume it's how close they will go before they um, get scared away. Hopefully, all three of them manage to get inside. We can actually do like Dingy move to. Uh, should be inside. Uh, population sign. Uh, dingy move to. So you're somewhere around here. Uh, fish move to. Okay, so you are about to uh, make it inside. And 
finally jir move to so we can now uh, seal this off again and made out of dirt derp dirt like this so who are you uh dingy is a minor foremost could do some stone working gem cutting bone carving and construction hmm fish you are a woodcutter a carpenter a brewer leather worker and gem cutter um and another minor um, chaining that could be used for was not really exactly what I was looking for so let's have a look uh, at where you are on the military side fighter nah. axe meh crossbow is for later so that's dingy fist crap fighter crap most of it quite low fitness actually um and your what kind of a crappy guy when it comes to fighting as well hmm so these two are custom setups Let's see what you are doing yeah okay so metal is something you kind of helping out and that is melting really oh. <clears throat> we need s nice with three new gnomes but um <clears throat> Well, if someone is going to be minor, it's going to be Fizz because he is the highest skill in didn't he? I think he had like 30 something in no, nope, mining 7 but um, wait mining 32 Oh, so maybe that's the... Nope. Mining 32. Profession. Skill. Mining. Yeah, mining 32. So you will be... A miner. Then. Ah, wood cutting, carpentry, weapon crafting, crap, armor crafting, gem cutting. Not sure we're going to delve into that yet. Leather working, no, brewing. <coughs> Woodcutter, or should we actually dingy? I want to see if anyone could be a 
prospect for the metal industry smelting blacksmithing I'm actually thinking I am going to Dingy skills. Uh, you're not really that good at it, but we need someone to do it. Ah. And I think we are going to uh, start move, moving down some of the industry down to this or this level. Maybe this level. Yeah, this level. Uh, terrain, mine, wall. The thing is, we only have. Uh, we only have two pickaxes and two felling axes. We need like at least one or two more. Um, so let's have this being dug out. And I think we are going to move down the metal industry. <sighs> so let's have that one deconstructed. Hmm. So metal industry is next. Let's Let's see if this one is yeah, this one is disassembled. So build workshop metal furnace. Build workshop Metal Forge Ah Let's have those done for a starter So this one is just getting reassembled down here, um, but uh, this one needs to be built from scratch. Maybe we should put up another stockpile. Uh, stockpile. Goods, metal, ores and bars and slivers. Let's throw in the anvil as well. Uh, and and coal and in this one uh, stone can stay, coal will not 
and metal will not be in this one and I think we actually had coal in this one yep cloth and coal is just cloth no coal So as you can see this is generating a massive uh, hauling job and this one is going to get filled up pretty soon. So we could actually build some couple of crates. Pine crate. One, two, three. that will help help on saving space once this is getting full and I think it will be full pretty soon uh, so in population uh, we have two smelters one blacksmith one metal worker one weapon smith and armor that's most likely the same guy mmm we might need to enhance Enhance, enhance that a bit. And you are still making coal up to say 25 units. And a jack is born. Uh, and a jack is most unfortunately going to die. So let's go to the butcher. Butcher shop. Um, as I understand it, uh, automatically butcher corpses. We're going to hold off on that. I will tell you what it's all about a bit later. Uh, automatically butcher excess livestock. Again, as I understand it, um, if we go to this one. We right now have. Uh, three jacks. Um, we have set it. It can hold eleven jacks in total. We have three. We can set uh, the maximum number of males and females and everything um, that crosses um, gets above that number is going to get automatically slaughtered. Uh, we are not in a position really to use that at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go to the butcher. Let's see what we actually got. Um, so going to the jack pasture, you can see we got uh, one more male, and um, that isn't going to help the breeding. Um, so we are going to butcher this guy. Um, so somebody should go get him have him um, mercifully murdered uh, and turned into leather, meat, bone and skulls. Uh, still waiting for stuff to be done. That is fine so far. And um, now that the jack is uh, slaughtered, it should be. Yes, he is. Let's have a look. Yeah. So, we can now go to the bone carver. And as you can see, the bone needle job is already queued up. And the bone needle is what is missing for um, the clothier.
Yeah, oh, good. We are getting back on track with the... Uh, with the straw as well. Actually, how are we on? Ah, uh, Euler Taylor, Potter, Leather Worker. Ah, we don't have a bone cover. Oh, okay. So. How are you on MISC? You are crap, actually. Uh, uh, profession. Metal, I don't want to disturb you. Rancher. Mm. Not that good, but um, you can help out in making that. So this one is getting set up. is kind of more uh, storage items I think to kind of get things sorted um, Planks. You are still producing marble blocks. You are producing food as good as you can. Ah, Taylor is done. Um, so what should you do? Well, we need. Let's make one of each. A bag, a sack, bandage, string. Let's do a padding and let's actually add a lot of straw. No, it's only two units, sorry. Um, let's make a mattress as well. Not really sure where that is going to get stored, but um, uh, stop pilots extend this one a bit. Hmm, things are not that well organized at the moment. Um, I kind of like to play games like this in doing things in, in stages. This is a kind of a hodgepodge setup just to um, get us going, and then we will, um, as we expand on uh, gnomes and expand on uh, material that we are producing, we will be able to to uh, reorganize stuff um, 
to get it get us more kind of effective if you like so these two levels are now dug out in exact the same way uh, this one didn't produce uh, that much um, or I think this one on the other hand actually has as you can see there's still uh, copper at this end some gems up in this corner uh, should we be brave enough to get down get down get down dig stairs down to do the same thing one more level down we are starting to get pretty deep and um I don't want to wake up anything that we don't uh, that we don't that we can't handle crap um, so bellows left So, bags and stuff and things are getting done. Um, hmm. Trying to think where we should go next. Uh, we could... Um, hmm. Just move on slowly. I'm kind of uh, tempted to do some more land grabbing, and I'm thinking up this way and around to uh, get ourselves a uh, whole of this hmm, lake. Uh, for ourselves, we also need to maybe expand on the farming, and I'm uh, think I'm getting ahead of myself because um, I want to set it up um, the way I want it to be set up, um, and my plan is, I think. Uh, so we will need um, areas for farming and we will need I would say about this size for farming once we expand on it properly we will need about this size for for pasture but then we will need a big area for for uh, growing um, trees as well and you could argue that we could do different things at different places um, could extend this one and then do a big building job um, I think we will um, let's try and dig that this lower level out wall
Ah, mein Wohl. Forty-two by forty-two. Yeah, that's uh, that's what we want. Maybe we should um, uh, stockpile. Eight by eight goods, gems, and jewelry. Uh, and then we can move up to this one and remove gems and jewelry. So we're kind of stripping this one of stuff. Um, String for mattress and mattress for mattress. Still have some straw left over. And we do have a spare bag. Uh, build storage bag one, just one. So let's see if we can. Ah, cloth is already removed. Oh, good then. So this one is put in place. Uh, which means that we could actually do... Uh, a clean floor to have all the uh, cotton removed to uh, the right stockpile. Like uh, this. Click, 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 and click, click. And of course we will need to put in torches as soon as we can down this way. And as you can see this is just about lit up all the way. There's some some kind of dark areas still. And as is in this one. Mm. can make some more bags actually I 
and as you can see we are using up our wood pretty fast um, Falling asleep on floor, falling asleep on floor. That most likely means ah, uh, build, build furniture. We need to put in one more straw bed, maybe then. Let's actually put in two. I think it's going to be a while before we can actually get to proper bed. As you can see now the cotton is being moved out of this one which uh, gives space to storage of other things and a lot of people, well at least some of them are sleeping. You for example are not doing anything. Mm. Yeah, this one is done. Forge bars. So what do we have? We do have some malachite and we do have some copper. So let's make let's craft one of each. Uh just to make them available when we want to do other jobs. And as you can see, we can't pick what kind of bar we want to use until we have made one of uh, each sort. So that's the next job. Build. We are now starting to stack up building jobs quite should be close to the middle maybe like this So, uh, I want to get ourselves, yeah, you are a woodcutter, but you don't have anything to cut wood with. So let's temporarily get you into the metal industry, if you would be so kind. Uh, and if not, then bags, torch, and crate. Profession wood. Carpenter wood carving. Could actually dash over here and help out if you would be so kind. 
These crates are taking a really long time to get done, and nobody seems to be... Oh, okay, so the bars are done. Great. You can then make a Malachite anvil. Okay, so you need eight bars for that. Hmm. Well, fine then. Just make it uh, build workshop metal blacksmith needs one anvil, one hearth, horse, and one bellow. Marble hearth and a pine bellow build. Sleeping and riding. Good. How are we on? We still got plenty of dirt if we want to snag that other side of the lake. Bar for anvil, bar for anvil, anvil for build job, malachite anvil needs bar. So we need a couple of more torches down this way for me to feel uh, comfortable. Um, oh my god, what a lot of sticks. We could make a couple of more bags then, because we seem to be quite good on uh on cotton oh 
Ah, copper. Copper, 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 copper. So the next thing we will need to find is tin. Because from tin bars and copper bars we can make bronze. And bronze is the second tier of uh, armory weapons. So maybe that land grab is the next step up. Are you missing Oberhoth and uh, the anvil? That should pretty soon be done, I hope. I think we actually had like. F oh! Oh, our first inside our quarter. Enemy. And uh, we don't have any military setup whatsoever. Maybe we have dug down a bit too deep before getting defensively properly set up. So this is skeleton. He is in good health un most unfortunately. He is wearing a copper hammer and he is quite decent with a hammer actually. Mm. So, this will most definitely be the end of this episode because, um, yeah, um, now we kind of have to uh, set up a military, and, and that is quite fiddly, and even more so as we don't have any proper gear at all well um, almost no gear anyway uh, we do have one helmet one breastplate and uh, some cotton paddings and that's for making uh, stuff um, we do however have one copper hand axe uh, I made a couple of uh, swords and axes and hammers. Um, so we will uh, um, be forced to put up um, and arm a temporary kind of army, kind of, to take care of this uh, guy. Uh, but that will be for the next episode, so I will catch you then when we um, try to defend ourselves as best we can against this guy. I, I didn't really think they would show up um, this early, uh, but we will have to sort that out. So I will catch you in the next episode when we play more. Nomoria, uh, 
right beside uh, Lake Invictus. See you then and bye bye.